Today we're going to look at the artwork of the Renaissance and focus on those characteristics that differentiate artwork of the Renaissance from artwork of the Middle Ages. Today we will look at seven characteristics and you should follow along with your guided note chart that you received in class. The first example of our first characteristic of Renaissance art would be the use of realism and expression in paintings. In the painting that we have here on the screen, we see Adam and Eve who are being expelled from the Garden of Eden. We can see from their faces that there is a lot of emotion in the picture. We see Eve very upset, we see Adam very ashamed, and our artists were able to convey these type of emotions um, in paintings. In addition, our artists try their best to create lifelike representations of the figures and the objects in the paintings. So Eve and Adam are both painted um, with curves, looking as human-like as possible. In addition, we see the use of nudity happening for the first time since ancient Roman, ancient Greek uh, paintings and sculptures. So this is a nod back to antiquity in replicating the use of nudity. The second characteristic would be the use of perspective um, in artwork. Perspective means adjustment in size. This allows artists to convey images that appear three-dimensional on a two-dimensional surface like a canvas. So by looking at these paintings, we see this idea of depth. So in the image we have on the screen, you can see that the buildings in the background appear much smaller than the people in the foreground. So that shows that they are meant to be in the distance. You can see this in real life if you're walking down a hallway where the doors at the opposite end of the hall seem very small, but as you get closer to them, they get larger in size. Artists of the Renaissance able to, to convey that in paintings to provide that illusion of depth. The third characteristic would be classicism. And that's a replication of classical style from ancient Rome and ancient Greece. The two sculptures you have on the screen are um, sculptures of people. The one on the left was from the first century BC. The one on the right was from 1504, and that is Michelangelo's David. So we see a lot of similarities between the two because our Renaissance artists are attempting to replicate the classical style and techniques of the Greeks and the Romans. In addition, we also see secular is um, utilized in paintings and sculptures. Secularism meaning non-religious. So we see subject matter like our last painting that does not have any affiliation with the Catholic Church. The fourth characteristic would be the emphasis on individuals. This is something that works hand in hand with the ideas of humanism which we talked about earlier in the week. Individualism is seen in artwork by the focus on singular objects. This is a painting of da Vinci's Mona Lisa. So Mona Lisa is our sole focus in the painting. We also see the use of perspective because the mountains and the rivers in the background are much smaller in comparison to Mona Lisa in the foreground. We see the use of individualism in statues because they are freestanding as opposed to being connected to a wall or some other type of structure. Light and shadow are utilized in paintings in the Renaissance to create, once again, this notion of depth, making images seem more three-dimensional. So Tarascaro is the contrast between light and dark colors. So in this painting, we see the contrast between the lighter hair of the figure and the darker leaves behind her, showing her in front of the image providing depth, along with the clothing that she's wearing. Number six is complex arrangements. So there are lots of things going on in the painting we're looking at. We see people who are moving, who are talking, who are shaking hands, who are pouring things. Um, so there's a lot of complexity and a lot of thought going into the creation of these paintings. 
this also has a lot of our other characteristics. We see classicism with the ancient architecture. We see perspective with the architecture and the buildings getting smaller um, in the background as opposed to the people who seem much larger in the foreground. Complex arrangement means that our artwork is very busy. There's a lot of detail because a lot of stuff is going on. The last characteristic we want to talk about would be the use of naturalism. A lot of the artists in the Renaissance utilized nature as either the sole focus of their artwork or in the use of background. So in this painting we see Mary and we see Jesus, but they are outside. We can see waterfalls, we can see um, mountains, we can see trees. Our artists are trying to make it realistic and put our objects in very natural settings, as opposed to the Middle Ages where a lot of the artwork was painted in a religious structure like a church. So these are your seven characteristics. Make sure you fill in this information on your chart and you bring it to class next week.